Dr. Ashton, you have uh, <laughs> not as much as dogs. <laughs> that's right. what that sounds dogs like. more. <laughs> yeah, just trying to help you. Right? I know. <laughs> okay. I know. Uh, all right, got a question here. Some folks have been asking about. I'm cutting out dairy due to a milk protein intolerance. How can I get calcium and vitamin D? This is a great question, and a lot of people just assume that the only source of calcium is in dairy. Uh, there are so many non-dairy sources: seeds, almonds, tofu, edamame, collard greens, um, sardines my favorite with some Tabasco sauce um, and beans lentils so you don't have to get your calcium from dairy source you need about a thousand to twelve hundred milligrams a day so what I normally recommend people do look online for those non dairy sources look what a serving of let's say collard greens gives you do some simple math till you get to a thousand or twelve hundred milligrams a day and just have an eyeballs view in your mind of what certain amount of milligrams of collard greens, uh, for example, will give you. Uh, also, vitamin D, you can't metabolize or use the calcium unless you have vitamin D. So mm -hmm. that you can get a thousand units a day from a supplement. Mm -hmm. All right, and your prescription for wellness. Inspired by the time of year and our need to protect our skin, not just in the summer, but all times of the year. So much confusion, and I was guilty of this myself, knowing what order do you put your sunscreen on in the morning. Uh, sunscreen should go on before your makeup, TJ, before you come to the studio. Okay. Um, and you want to give it some uh, time to actually set in before you apply your makeup. Um, so many cosmetics now have an SPF in them. Experts, dermatologists tell us we should not rely only on those because you just have to use so much of it to get a good SPF. So it's a little extra, but shouldn't be your sole source. And then this is the killer. You do need to reapply your sunscreen every two hours. I am really bad at this. I put it on in the morning and I think, oh, good, I'm good for the whole day. Right. Not so. Yeah. You shouldn't just stay out there in the sun for two hours and keep applying it. You're not good No, at but it's you know what? Dermatologists will tell you, and, and I've learned a lot from them on this, that the real damage to our skin for all color types is day to day. It's not so much on oh, the beach when okay. we're there for the weekend. So put that sunscreen on your hands, neck, face. 365 days a year. All right, folks, keep your questions coming to us on health and wellness. You can send them to us at ABC GMA 3. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.